Holbrook died in hospital in Washington two days after undergoing emergency surgery to repair a torn aorta. Now, even before his death, the tributes were coming in. President Obama called him a towering figure in American foreign policy, saying Holbrook made the U.S. safer and the world more secure. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said Holbrook helped shape our history, manage our perilous present, and secure our future. She called his death a sad day for the U.S. Richard Holbrook began his career in 1962 with the U.S. Foreign Service. Now, working under every Democratic president since John F. Kennedy, he tackled some of the most important diplomatic issues of his era, from Vietnam with Lyndon Johnson to Afghanistan and Pakistan with President Obama. But Holbrook was probably best known for his work during Bill Clinton's administration when he forged the 1995 Dayton Peace Accord that ended the war in Bosnia. Three years later, Holbrook took on the war in Kosovo, which saw him deal with Yugoslav President Slobodan Milosevic. Then again, he did once say he had no qualms negotiating with people who do immoral things. Well, Holbrook's latest role was as Obama's special representative in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And over the last two years, he helped promote their economic development by seeking support from allies. Well, Holbrook's vast intellect, ego, and forceful style earned him nicknames such as the bulldozer. But they were the very traits that helped him resolve some of the world's toughest conflicts. And as a result, he's credited with saving tens of thousands of lives. Ultimately, though, he couldn't be saved from the rare disorder that cut short his latest mission.